morning, everyone, and welcome again to today's Reflections uh, with Fumi Obilano. In the last few days, we've been looking at um, we've been looking at priorities. Uh, we we had um, we we talked about the things that are important. Yesterday, we tried to I tried to um, engage engage us. Um, but first, I want to say a happy wedding anniversary. Your message came in late yesterday to uh, Sister B.C. Bola, she was said yesterday was her 20th wedding anniversary. Sister Bola Ibikunde, happy wedding anniversary to you. May the Lord bless you and make you friends forever. And thank you for being with me again today. Um, so we've been looking at the issue of priority and um, how important it is for us to be able to set priorities for our lives. Um, and we said, when we look at priorities, we, we are looking at one thing that is, that, is, uh, that is needful. What is the one thing in life that is needful? And we've talked about a few things. Yesterday, we considered the challenges we may be having with, um, with the current short in, um, maybe finances, um, you know, a, a few things like that. But today, I just want to move straight ahead. Maybe tomorrow, we'll sort of try and round up the issue of priority. I... I, I, as I started to think about today, the scripture came to my mind of um, Detroit, uh, Matthew 22, uh, 37, Matthew 22, 37. Um, when a lawyer, and you know us lawyers, we, we think we know it all. We call ourselves um, the learned people. And I do think we know it all. Um, apologies to those of you who are not lawyers. So this young lawyer came to the Lord Jesus and said, Teacher, what is the greatest commandment of all? And the Lord said, in essence, he was saying, what should be my priority? Um, what, what, what is it that I need to focus on the most um, as, as somebody of faith? And the Lord said, um, you will love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Um, you will love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Since this is the first and great commandment, and the second is like it. Hmm. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I pondered, you know, every time I've read that scripture, I've thought that when God says we should love him first, above all things, that he just wants us to love him because he is God. Yes, that's true. And then he goes on to say, love your neighbor as yourself. In essence, you cannot love your neighbor. Um, you have to love yourself first. You have, to, you, 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 you have to love yourself. You have to feel good about yourself before you can love someone else. That takes me straight to the point of right now, if, if somebody is hateful, if somebody is arrogant, if somebody is prideful, if somebody is abusive, whatever they are to somebody else is a reflection of who they are to themselves. When you see somebody crossing somebody else out, um, that is how they feel about themselves. If you see somebody who likes name calling, calling other people names, it's how they feel. Like, it's not about the person they are calling names. It's who they are, it's what they feel about themselves. If you see somebody who is a bully, it's not about, it, 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 it's, it's how they feel about themselves. So when God says, love your neighbor as yourself, it's because God understands human nature. People who don't love their neighbors don't love themselves. People who are not compassionate to their neighbors are not compassionate to themselves. We say, oh, they are selfish. They only think of themselves. Yes, they, they, they only think of themselves. However, because they, they can't love their neighbor, and they can't love their neighbor because they don't love themselves, it tells me that the priorities of their life is wrong. Because if somebody has the right priority. You will see it in the way they treat other people. They will love other people. They will care about other people. They will be compassionate to other people. 
because they themselves have the right priority. They understand what their life is about. They understand the things that are needful for their own lives. They are at peace with themselves. Anybody who is making life impossible for other people, who is constantly at war with other people, it's because they are at war inside of them. They are constantly crossing people out. It's because they are crossing themselves inside. They are not happy about who they are. They are not. So, so, so when you see them acting, it's who they are to themselves inside. You beat up your wife, you cross out your husband, you are actually, it's, that's the way, it means that inside of you it's just a, 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 a model of, you hate yourself. So God said to, the Lord Jesus said to this young man, he said, love your neighbor as yourself. He said the greatest commandment of all is to love the Lord your God with all your heart. With, because when you love God with everything that is in you, because God is good, because God is pure, because God is holy. When you love God with everything inside of you, the picture of who God is comes into your own life. The peace of God, the joy of God, the love of God comes into you. And then you can love other people because you love God. You love yourself the way God loves you, and then you can love other people. Love the Lord your God. That's the greatest commandment of all. And love other people. Do you love yourself? Do you love yourself? If you don't love yourself, you can't love any other people. Now, remember, we are talking about priorities and what's those things that are needful for us to do in life. And it's just been a wonderful journey because I have enjoyed myself so much. Um, um, when all this started, I didn't know, you know, how, how are we going to cope? How, you know, how, what is going to happen? And getting up every day and preparing to talk with you um, is a little, I don't want to use the word stressful, but it's discipline for me. And because I want to be able to reach out and touch you, I'm touching myself. Because I love myself, I'm able to, I'm able to love you. And so we've learned a few things together, um, sharing with you and seeing you share back with me has just been a joy. I'm going to just play some of the things. Yesterday we learned how to fold toilet roll and I want to show you, I got two beautiful pictures. Um, and I'm happy that they, um, they, 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 they were able to, so, well, that's, the first picture is of bread. Um, that first picture is of the bread that we learned to make. And somebody sent me a picture of the bread they made. Doesn't that look absolutely delicious? My mouth is watering. I'll show you later on, I'll show you some of the other stuff. We can move on to the other one. And then yesterday, we looked at um, toilet making toilet roll. And look at what somebody made. That looks nice. Go ahead. Ah, look at that bathroom. Look at the way she made her toilet roll. That's really, really nice. And look at those towels. I'm going to ask her to teach me how to fold those towels. Um, um, I used to, I'll, I'll ask her, so maybe I'll be able to teach you as well. But... Those are nice pictures. Thank you for sending them in. And then finally, somebody sent me this picture and said to me, he said, Pastor, you look full around the cheeks. Um, and then she sent me that, that. I hope you get the joke. The quarantine is over. So how are we going to get out? Thank you so much, Mr. Bimbo, for telling me I'm beginning to put on some. But it's all right. I feel good about it. <laughs> I feel good about myself. I think we can, we can uh, switch over now. So it's been nice having you with me this morning. I hope we've had a wonderful time together. And um, love yourself. Love God. Love other people. I want to remind you that tonight, by the grace of God, we are going to kick off total 
woman conference. Usually we go away to have this conference, but today we'll be having it online and everybody is invited. Men, women, young, old, come. We are going to have a wonderful time. At last, I'm going to have a chance to dress up. We haven't been able to do that for a whole month. But I have an excuse to dress up tonight. Usually the first night at the Total Woman Conference, we come in our jeans because we've been traveling. Many of us travel at least uh, an hour and a half, two hours to get there. Some uh, fly in from other far places. So we come in in the evening, we quickly get something to eat and then we run into the conference room. So many of us are still in our travel gown. But today I'm going to, I'm going to dress up somewhat and I'm looking forward to that. So I'll see you at 7 p.m. On, um, on Facebook, uh, um, uh, we will share on my, on my Facebook, um, but it's also going to, it's going to be shared live on the Total Woman uh, Facebook uh, page. So I look forward to seeing you then. Please take care of yourself. Um, again, it's Omi Obilano on Reflections this morning. I want to have a word of prayer with you. Lord, we are grateful. We are indeed grateful. Um, thank you. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you, O God of heaven, for watching over us. Since we started Reflections, Lord, I've not heard of a single incident of anybody missed. And we want to appreciate you for that. And so this morning, Lord, we remember again all those, those who are sick, those who are looking after the sick, those who are grieving, those who are mourning. Lord, please watch over them. And please keep them and encourage them. And Lord, we pray for our policy makers, our leaders. Lord, that they will love you with all their hearts. That they will love themselves so that they will be able to love us. Lord, we pray you will touch every one of them from the presidents, oh God, to the governors, to the, legisla the legislators, the judiciary. All those people, Lord, who have rule over us, that they will love you and fear you, that they will love themselves. Because when they are at war inside of them, they vent out on the rest of us. We ask, O oh God of heaven, that you will pour out your love on us all. Father, let your light shine. Let the darkness of wickedness, the darkness of the devil, the darkness of selfishness, let it end, O oh God. Visit our leaders one by one, name by name. Speak to them in the night. Speak to them in the daytime. Lord, don't, we, we ask, O oh God, that they will not be instruments of the devil to afflict and to torment us. We pray for the United States. We pray for Nigeria. We pray for Australia. We pray for all the nations of the earth. Lord, visit these leaders. Lord, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Please bless all of us. Keep us. Keep us our homes. Keep our families. Keep all that belong to us. Don't let us be the prey and the victims of wicked rulers. Don't let us fall. Don't let us disappear because of selfish rulers. Have mercy on us, O God. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. From your Bilana. Reflections. I hope to see you tonight, 7 p.m. American Eastern Time. As we kick off the Total Woman Conference for 2020. God bless you.